Hello and welcome to this product walkthrough of Swift Analytics. I'm Christianopoulos, a product engineer at the business. Firstly, you can connect a variety of different entities to Swift by clicking Add Entity at the top right-hand side of the screen. You can connect entities from various cloud accounting providers, as well as e-commerce and payment platforms. Once those entities are on Swift, you can consolidate them into reporting groups across multiple currencies or segment them into their constituent divisions. You can also import data from Swift from Excel or Google Sheets, whether it's trial balance data or transaction list imports. For our direct integrations, you can refresh the data manually at the bottom left-hand side of the screen. However, this data will also refresh every 24 hours automatically. Entities connected to Swift will then appear in the left drop-down selector. You can navigate between the entities and select the relevant entity you would like to work with. The most important thing for entity setup is under Layouts, Chart of Accounts. These layouts and chart of accounts help you group and move accounts within your P&L and balance sheet, rename accounts, and also allocate various chart of account classifications to your accounts that are then used to calculate various graphs, KPIs, and reports across SIFT. Under the Entity Selector on the left-hand side, you'll see the Favorites tab, where you can favorite various graphs and reports within SIFT, as well as five different tool sets available for that entity. First up, we have Visualize. Visualize, as the name implies, is a suite of visualizations starting with a dashboard that helps you get a good sense of trend and seasonality in your data set. Whether it's P&L data for incomes and expenses, customer, product, or supplier information, you can then drill down into the underlying operating metrics of your specific entity. The best part of SIFT is the drill down functionality, as it gives you transaction level detail for all the underlying transactions that make up a graph or number within SIFT's visualizations or reports. At the top of the screen, you'll see the Global Date Selector. This enables you to switch to different time periods that you would like to report on for your entity. The default is monthly, but you can switch from daily to yearly or various custom date ranges if you'd like to go further or be more specific than that. To get the most out of SIFT, I'd encourage you to try SIFT Assist AI. It's embedded at the top right-hand side of your screen, as well as in the bottom of each dashboard card. Swift Assist AI provides summaries of the visuals and tables that you're seeing in every feature. It also suggests ways to improve. You can also use Swift Send to generate automated AI-powered summaries and alerts to keep you up to speed by clicking on the airplane icon at the right-hand side of your screen. Below Visualize, we get the Financial section, and this features your core accounting statements, like your profit and loss, balance sheet, and cash flow statements. Within these tools, you can customize the columns and segment your data or compare that data to budget or forecast. You can also use the financial statements drafting tool to help you draft annual, quarterly, or half yearly financial statements for your entity. The analyze feature specifically focuses on tabular reports for your customer and product information with KPI scorecards to help you measure financial health, granular metrics across customers and products, a valuation tool, and an industry benchmarking tool that enables you to compare your entity to industry benchmarked entities that exist on SIFT within your industry and country. You can also analyze non-financial metrics using our connections feature. The forecasting tool has three different features. Firstly, there's Cash Manager, Cash Manager is for short-term, 30, 60, 90-day bank balance projection. It empowers you to answer questions such as, can I cover bills as they become due? And what money is landing in my bank accounts? The four-way forecast is an integration between profit and loss, balance sheet, cash flow statements, and KPIs that can be built from one year to 10 years out. And the budgeting tool helps you prepare budgets for your entity for the profit and loss and balance sheet, again, from one year to 10 years out. Last but not least is the review tool. The review tool will pick up data anomalies and potential errors within your transaction level data for your entity. 
It will flag these anomalies for you and features a tool to help you correct any potential data errors so that your reporting and forecasting is correct. You can view SIFT as a dashboard on screen, and you can also interact with these reports by combining them into a unified report pack at the top of the screen. These report packs can be pushed to PDF, Excel, Word, and sent via Slack or Microsoft Teams. But our personal favorite is something called LiveView. LiveView is a collaborative, interactive, hosted URL that you can share with various stakeholders that allows you to speak about the entity's performance for that period in one unified URL. The data can roll over from period to period, so that's up to date, and you can add comments to the right-hand side, navigate down the left, and if you hover over certain numbers, you'll uncover the underlying transaction level detail that makes up that specific number. Collaborating with your team is easy. Invite additional users under settings, found at the top left of your screen, and then users. These can be both members of your organization or guests, be they external stakeholders or clients. We are here to help, so feel free to book a call in your account manager's calendar by navigating to the profile icon at the top left of your screen and selecting the first option under My Account. If you need an absolutely instant response, we have real-time support and you can use the chat interface at the bottom right-hand side of the screen. You can also use our Knowledge Center for articles and videos on each feature. And if you want to take your SIFT learning to the next level, check out SIFT Campus for certifications and full-length courses on a variety of features and functionality. Spreadsheet Link is the last little bit of features and functionality I'd suggest, and this will allow you to interface with both Google Sheets and Excel to push and pull data in and out of SIFT Analytics. Over to Pricing, and there are plans to choose for every business. Chat to our team and we'll help you choose which plan is right for your business. Thanks for watching.